Well, if you're looking for something new this weekend, two very different films are hitting theaters. And they're aimed at two very different audiences. Arch Campbell is here with action, sci-fi, and then romance. Uh, do we have any 16-year-old boys in the house? <laughs> not right now. Not on this one. <laughs> Maybe not chronologically. <laughs> Tonight's author, uh, Twilight's author, has turned to sci-fi. Plus, G.I. Joe is back, and he's got retaliation on his mind. We're all that's left. The Rock leads the G.I. Joes in a follow-up adventure in G.I. Joe Retaliation. In this sequel, most of the Joes get wiped out in a setup that includes putting a double in for the U.S. president. So you lose Channing Tatum early on, but you get Bruce Willis for the back half. G.I. Joe Retaliation looks great, and hey, they blow up stuff. Couple of stars, PG-13, and maybe a bullseye if you're a 16-year-old kid. It's impossible. <laughs> also opening, The Host, Stephanie Meyer's follow to Twilight. Aliens take over the planet and take up residence in human bodies, except for a few human resistors who go around having arguments in their head. The uh, host moves from ludicrous to laughable in record time, one star, Weekend Best Bets, Silver Linings Playbook, Starbuck, and The Croods. <laughs> yeah, well, the best new movie honors for the weekend remain with Starbuck. That's that French-Canadian comedy about a guy who accidentally fathers 533 children. And I really wanted to like the host. I know. And I really thought that I could like something better than Twilight, and it's even worse than Twilight. Yeah, you gave so. it one star. Yeah, That's yeah. Pretty well, bad. it was in focus. <laughs> That's the best you can say. <laughs> the sound was okay. You liked it right up until you saw it. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Have